of Baker's dozen. How about Holloway in the lane for the scoop? He had 17 points. Later, the triple no, but how about Justin Mark? They don't box out and he comes in. Xavier up 62 to 45, less than three minutes to play. Holloway no, Penny threes, yes. Less than 30 on the clock. The game has been decided, but the tomfoolery is still to come. Lions to Holloway, easy lay-in, and here comes Holloway. John at the Cincinnati bench. Final seconds of the game, we put the arrow on Holloway. Continues with that trash talking. And there it goes. Bench is clear, brawling and suing in front of the Cincinnati bench. And we take a closer look at this. Yancey Gates, Cole Cox, Kenny Freeze in the head. Freeze goes right down. And then while he's on the ground, Sheik Mooj kicks Freeze as he's trying to get away. Suspensions definitely will be coming out of this one. Freeze getting attention from the medical staff. Meanwhile, Gates continues sparring the senior Cincinnati native. So this is final time playing in the game. And both coaches just trying to get their teams under control. The problem at the Cintas Center, the tunnel leading to the locker rooms, there's only one of them. So both teams have to go through it. Xavier wins the game, but that's not the story. Two Holloways speaking after Yeah, you know, that's what you want to see from uh, Xavier and Cincinnati. And we, was, we got disrespected a little bit before the game. Guys calling us out. We're a tougher team. We're grown men over here. We got a whole bunch of gangsters in the locker room. Not thugs, but tough guys on the court. And we went out there and zipped them up at the end of the game. That's our motto, zip them up. And that's what we just did to them. I was hearing on Twitter or whatever, one of those guys called me out. Said I wasn't starting on um, their team or whatever the case may be, and then those guys saying they were better than us. But you don't talk, you don't talk before the game. It, it always go down. But you talk after the game, and you let you let your player on a uh, court talk for you. If somebody put their hands in your face or try to do something to you, where we from, you gonna do something back. You know, we're not gonna sit there and get get our face beat in by somebody like Yancey Gates or somebody. You don't let that happen. And y'all y'all amp it up so much. It's like y'all make it animosity. You know what I'm saying like we didn't do this. Like, this is a rivalry game, like, which I expect from us. If my players don't act the right way, they will never play another game at Cincinnati. Right now, I just told my guys, I will decide. I need to meet with my AD and my president, and I'm going to decide who's on the team going forward. That's what the University of Cincinnati is about. Period. I told them the way I feel. I've never been this embarrassed. I'm hoping President Williams doesn't ask me to resign after that. I made everybody take their jersey off. And they will not put it on again until they have a full understanding of where they go to school and what the university stands for and how lucky they are to even be there, let alone have a scholarship. Because there's a whole lot of kids that, that can't pay for college. They're all sitting in there with no jersey on. Some of them, I physically took them off. Strong words from Mick Cronin. There's going to be some major fallout suspensions from this one. Big East Associate Commissioner Dan Gavin saying this, quote, we will talk to the officials and engage with the coaches and the institution, so it might take some time. We'll start with what penalties incurred through the game officials and go from there and see what is appropriate.